Okay, now that we've had a few minutes to practice, it looks really good. And we're going to learn how to do the upper body part of the exercise. No, that's okay. We want to keep skiing. Okay. What we want to do now is just bring your hands back to the hip pad. Okay? It's very important to maintain good posture as we go into this next part of the exercise. We want to keep that head up, keep the shoulders back, take one arm off the exerciser, shake it out, relax it, just let it swing by your side. It's going to naturally start swinging as your legs move, just like you do when you walk. Continue doing that for a few moments until you get very comfortable with that. Okay, if you should start to feel uncomfortable, just bring your hand back to the hip pad and keep your legs going again. Okay. Now take it off again and just let it shake it out and let it hang by your side mm -hmm. and swing like it normally would when you walk. Okay. How does that feel? Good. Does that feel comfortable? Mm -hmm. Okay, now what we want to do is take that other arm off, maintain good posture, mm -hmm. keep the head up, and just let that other arm swing, just like you do when you're walking. Mm -hmm. It's very important at this point to keep the weight on the balls of your feet, your back nice and straight, and your head up. Mm -hmm. Okay? That looks really good. Okay. Keep that motion going. Are you feeling comfortable with that? Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. What we want to do now is just grab the upper body exerciser. Mm -hmm. so go ahead and grab the handles and continue with that motion just like you are when you're walking. Your arms are going to swing just opposite of what your legs do. So just keep the motion of your upper body in sync with the motion of your lower body. Okay? Your arms want to go a little bit quicker to keep pace with your legs. Just like when you walk, if your legs are going along fairly quickly, your arms want to swing fairly quickly. If you're going slower, your arms want to swing slower. As you practice a motion and become more comfortable, elongate your arm swing to give you a better range of motion. Remember to keep your arm swing equal to the stride of your legs. Your form looks really good, but before I leave, I just want to give you a few of the major points. Remember to keep your leg resistance at a comfortable level, somewhere between two and three. Your hip pad wants to be at a comfortable position, about an inch or so below your belly button. Stride length looks really good, you just want to remember to keep your weight centered on the balls of your feet. Your posture wants to stay nice and straight with your shoulders back, your head up, your chin up, and focusing in the distance. Your form looks really good. Keep up the good work.